Our first guest is Chris Harrelson from the Brunswick County Health Department. Hey Chris, thanks for joining us today. It's my pleasure, Jean. It's a pleasure to have you back. You were here not long ago. We talked about that community health needs assessment and we're gonna find out the results or, or the action plans from that today, I believe. Yes, ma'am. And so remind me of your title. I am Public Health Director for the County of Brunswick. And that's a very big job, I know. <laughs> well, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> well, and we're happy that you're doing it. So um, tell me about that most recent survey. What were the findings? Remind us of that. Okay, well, one of our core missions at Brunswick County Health Services is to assess the quote unquote health of the community. Right. Um, we do that every four years. The last time we did that was in 2015. Um, we gather information through feedback from the community itself, right. through surveys and so forth, and also by looking at hard statistical data mm -hmm. from federal, state, and local sources. Mm -hmm. um, so what we found was that we had four priority health items. Okay. Uh, the first one being chronic disease, mm -hmm. the second, mental health, third, substance abuse, and fourth, accidental death and injury. Mm -hmm. So now you've identified those areas, so yes. what are we going to do about it to, right. to, to correct? That's right. Um, in the off years of doing the community health assessment, mm -hmm. our goal is to uh, devise a strategy to address all those priority mm -hmm. items. So, that, so we work towards making improvements in each of those four priority items. Right. Um, so let's start with uh, the first one, chronic disease. Right. Um, we chose the most prevalent chronic disease in Brunswick County to focus our efforts upon, and that's mm -hmm. diabetes. Diabetes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also one of the main risk factors for diabetes, obesity. Mm -hmm. And so we will be working with our community partners within the county mm -hmm. um, to uh, perpetuate a change of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We promote healthy living. Right. Uh, we would like to see everyone uh, focus upon nutrition mm -hmm. and exercise and having a good uh, mental health mm -hmm. oral about them. Mm -hmm. um, so we teach diabetes classes yes, at Brunswick County Health well Service. Too. Well, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And um, I know others do it in the community also. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, we, what we teach is how you can uh, monitor, your, monitor your blood glucose mm -hmm. level right. so that you can you know, know where you are at all times. Right. And then we promote the healthy eating. We have uh, cooking classes that mm -hmm. we demonstrate um, so that you can see that eating healthy is not, <laughs> does not mean eating bad. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, you know, you can retrain your brain uh, to desire mm -hmm. vegetables and, and healthy foods. Right. Um, just as, unfortunately, sometimes we've trained our brain over time to crave sugary snacks. And, right. And fatty foods and things right. of that nature. Yeah. Um, of course, being active, you know, and exercising um, helps your overall, your, your body to, mm -hmm. to fight off and even prevent chronic diseases. Um, did you know that just by losing a small amount of weight, five to seven percent of your total body weight, um, will greatly enhance your ability to prevent um, chronic uh, adult ty type two diabetes? diabetes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have heard that. and. Um, how about substance abuse? Let's talk about that a little yeah, bit. There's been, that's been kind of prevalent here in this area. Yes, it is. And let, let me talk about substance abuse, mental health, and accidental Yeah, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they, they? They do. They do. They're all interconnected to some degree mm -hmm. in a lot of cases. Um, yes, we, we do have uh, an issue here in Brunswick County and all of southeastern North Carolina and, and really across the state and across mm -hmm. the nation. Um, we have an an opioid addiction mm -hmm. epidemic. Mm -hmm. It is the public health uh, concern of the 21st century. Wow. And let me preface what I'm going to say by also saying that um, substance abuse and mental health issues have not historically been within the realm of, of a public health public field. Public health, yeah, right. true. Mm -hmm. And so we're, I'm learning this um, <laughs> just as our law enforcement community is, right. is learning it and our first responders are learning about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I have to rely upon the, the mental health professionals and the substance abuse treatment professionals mm -hmm. um, to help me make sure. decisions. And, sure. And I'll also say that uh, not one person, not one agency is going to to be the solution to this epidemic. We all have to work together. Right. And fortunately, I have seen that happening across Brunswick County and across North Carolina mm -hmm. um, for the past few years. Um, Brunswick County Sheriff's Office has been very proactive mm -hmm. in uh, addressing this problem. 
but I think even they will tell you that we're not going to arrest ourselves right. out of the epidemic. Right, um, yeah. It, it's so prevalent that I, I challenge anyone to, to show me one area of, of life that it hasn't touched, uh, because it certainly touched our law enforcement, it's, it certainly touched our prison systems right. and our jails, our first responders, um, our medical communities, our emergency rooms and hospitals. Mm, it sure has. Um, and all the way down, of course, mm -hmm. the probably the main Mm -hmm. uh, entity that it's affected is the families. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen the uh, parents watching their children uh, waste away right. from drug abuse right. and unfortunately we've seen a good amount of children mm -hmm. watch their parents right. um, yeah. waste away. And yeah. um, unfortunately our uh, custodial cases and our foster care system have, have really skyrocketed over the past mm -hmm. few years because of this issue. Yeah, um, it's really a serious <clears throat> problem. And unfortunately, uh, it takes right. a whole family to, or a whole right. community to solve that. It does. Um, w I hate it, but we're out of time right now. Really? That goes really <laughs> quick. It does. And uh, we appreciate you being here, and we're going to have you back, because I think it, it, this topic deserves yes. more, it more does. time. I think we could have a whole series of episodes just on this topic. That's right. Well, thanks again, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, June. Mm.